Last time on the Group Hardcore Iron Man series, we started off by getting a pair of Dragon Claws. After that, I got a Zenite Shard on my very own Slayer task. And then, I got two more Zenite Shards whilst dueling with Roydy. And then, we also got a Dexterous Prayer Scroll, which Roydy used to get Rigor. To kick off this episode, we do actually have a pretty big drop coming in. Uh, I was not present for it. Why? I don't exactly remember, but by the looks of it, I was gone entirely this day. Oh, it might have been a Sunday, which is my day off. Uh, but the other three farmers were all on, and they decided to do some Zammy. Oh, dude, no way. Alright, let's get another one. Let's get another one. Let, let's do back-to-back. -back. We gotta go back-to-back. -back. <laughs> the last kill of the day, man? Let's go. <laughs> oh, man. Let's, we gotta go back-to-back -back now. So that right there was Zamorakian Spear number four, which is huge because, well, of course, there's four of us on the team. So we now have one Zamorakian Spear, or Hasta, however we want to use it. We each have one of our own now. Immediately following the raids that we finished at the end of last episode, we decided to hit up a little bit of Corporeal Beast. At the moment, we have a few Spirit Shields, uh, but no Elixir and no Sigils. We could, uh, could catch Curtis up with the best XP in the game just by having, like, just spec down, like, three corpse in three different worlds and just have him take out the 2,000 HP chicken over and over all day. Yeah, it's like 1.5x XP, right? 1.55, yeah. That's crazy. Ow. If we do end up pulling a sigil, no one can stop me from just camping out dragons all day until we get that 85. Number one priority. I will go camp Vorkov, honestly, with a rune crossbow. Yeah, if we all knock it out, we get we get the bones in no time. I can actually smith the shield as well, no? I still remember way back in the day, during, like, the old court method with the food stacks, when you'd ever get a tuna potato drop, like, yes! Oh, I used yeah. to actually collect them all. I used to collect every single one, so I have an about no, 6.5k. Yeah, I did, um... I did a little bit of corp that way, but it was like, holy, I, I can't keep up with this food usage. I remember initially, I recall watching, oh, I forget his name. He was a really good Iron Man, but he streamed for a while. And he, Sig, Sig yup, that's it. He would, uh, he would have to go to Nightmare Zone to get his spec back, and it was so slow. Yeah, that was a 40 minute kill, so he got his spectral, um, first, obviously, the first time to get it. And then a few days later, I pulled out the Arcane. So uh, we got it very close to each other, but that was 40 minute kills, run to Nightmare Zone, recharge, and then obviously gain the next tally back. It was oh, horrendous. Gross. So worth it then. Of course. It's always worth it if you get the uh, the sigil. I'll tell you what though, getting an 82 kill count arcane after doing corp 40 minutes of kill is the most satisfying thing you can ever do in this game. I can never relive never, that. Never seen a sigil myself, even in RS2. Wow. Oh, it's the best again. Man, 40 minutes a kill, holy cow. That's that's rough. Yeah, yeah. It was insane. It was like yeah, midnight when I got it. I, tried, I wanted to scream, obviously, all my family was sleeping. Oh. <laughs> Bro, I did it again. It's gotta be pretty shitty, though. Like, get up to stream all day. It's like time for my nine corp kills today. Right. Yeah. <laughs> I had to <laughs> do it off stream, depressing. actually, because he used to get crashed. I had to only do it offline, because you'd have a guy coming for Deba after 20 minutes of specking it down. Oh, God. Good luck. It's Good luck, like chaps. Flemmy. Good luck. Oh. The back to Pretty back. Pretty spicy. I'm swimming in dehyde. Right, I will see you guys tomorrow. Thank you for the raids and the cup today. It was really fun. All, All right. right. See, see, you later. Later. see ya. Yo, Man, we got up for one or two more. Prime up from Trizzle. Yeah, I could do a few more. Or are you low on food? Because I could spot you some. I got like 30 carom wands. It should last a few kills. Should be fine for two, yeah. And we had a depressingly dry session at Corp. We did not get... We had nothing. No uniques, no onyx bolts, no cannonballs. Just, uh, just one of those days, unfortunately. Alright, haven't collected my miscellany in a while. Let's see how many teak logs we've got in there. 4.1k. My god, that's a lot of construction XP. And actually, on that note, I definitely have way more than enough planks banked to get level 83 construction, which I think I'm going to do today. I mean, it's going to take a while because Mahogany Homes is a little slow, but 83 con, getting that highest tier pool will be totally worth.
All right, I believe this will be the last inventory we need to do. I think I started with about 11 mil. Right now we're at 7.8 mil, so... Oh god, math is hard, but... We'll just say I spent approximately 3 mil making those planks, which, you know, isn't all that bad, because 83 will be so worth it. We have 4.4k teak, 610 mahoganies, and now let's go repair houses for hours and hours. So if you're curious as to why I want to get 83 construction, specifically, at level 83 construction, I will be able to boost up and make both the Ornate Rejuvenation Pool as well as the Ornate Jewelry Box. The Ornate Rejuvenation Pool restores literally everything. Health, prayer, stats, you name it. And then the Ornate Jewelry Box has so many useful tellies, it's going to be massive quality of life. Well, had a nice session. We went from level 75 to level 78 construction. I missed the level up because I tellied, but that was uh, three levels. We've made a little bit of a dent in our planks, at least a bit, but there's three down, only five to go. There's a bit of a milestone. Just got level 79 construction, but more importantly, 1700 total. Very nice. Okay, I'm gonna give myself a little boost tonight. We got nine long bones that have accumulated through Slayer. Here you go, my guy. Take my long bones, and that should get me to 81 construction, just two to go. Oh my goodness, that was a lot of mahogany homes, but it is finally done, and it's gonna be so worth it in the end. This should get me level 83 construction right here. Which, I don't think you actually unlock anything cool, but the important thing is I can now boost up to a total of 91. So now, now that I'm 83, now it's spicy stew time. Well, in the process of getting 83 construction, I accumulated 1,744 points. And not that I think it's worth it, but just because. I'm gonna buy the carpenter shirt and trousers. I guess we'll do the boots as well. And then we'll buy the, uh, we'll buy the rest in supply crates. Now, I think these pieces give, like, between all these combined, I'm probably gonna get, like, I don't know, fucking, like, 1.5% bonus XP. It won't be much, but, okay, this is gonna hurt. We need two marble blocks, which are 325k each. And then we need a total of eight gold leaves, which are 130k each. Rip the cash deck. So the next thing I had to do was I had to get a bunch of charged dragonstone jewelry to use in the jewelry box, and the worst of all being the Ring of Wealths. For some reason, well, I suppose they knew what they were doing, they made it so you can only charge a Ring of Wealth at the Fountain of Rune in the Deep Wilderness. So that was a little bit scary. Um, I, of course, whenever I do stuff in the wilderness, I bring Iron Mammal to, you know, kind of scout the area out beforehand, and... Funnily enough, on the world that I was on right here, Iron Mammal ran south and got piled by a team. <laughs> so that was a close call. Obviously, that's why I bring another account, though, so I knew to hop worlds. Uh, and then I did make it out safe safely, thank God. We're good, boys. There's your charge rings of wealth. Yeah, the first world I was on, uh, I logged out on this account, and I ran south by Callisto on Iron Mammal, and I got instantly attacked by a guy. <laughs> there was a team sitting there, so... That is why you bring your alt to check the world before you start running. <laughs> okay, and just to save time later when I do actually have the boost, with the Crystal Saw, I can upgrade my basic jewelry box into a fancy jewelry box. So now we just need the last tiers of each of these, and that will require the spicy stew. Okay, here we go. We're at 83. Unaffected. 86. No, that's not enough. Not enough yet, I don't believe. Back down to 83. Minus one. Minus four, all right. Eighty-eight, oh my god, okay, uh... 
I should probably be hopping world to try to keep that, but we're just kind of good gonna try to strong arm this uh upgrade. Oh yeah, put it in building mode. Ha <laughs> ha. Fucking A. It's already been 12 seconds, so I have to five gold leaves. I hate this game. I fucking hate this game so much. Yeah, I've already lost the plus five, but 87 will be enough for this anyway. Upgrade. Ornate rejuvenation pool. Done. Cool. Now we just need to get the plus five again for this thing. Got it. Okay, hop worlds so we don't lose it quickly. Bro. Building mode on. Hurry up, please. Upgrade. Ornate jewelry box. It's fucking done. Oh my- Dude, you have- like, like I said before. When you get the ornate jewelry box and the pool, that's when a new account stops feeling new. Like, th th like it's well developed at this point, because now we can go to our house. We got all of these tellies in one spot. We got the ornate pool. Ah, life's good. Life's good. Well, God bless my Twitch chat, because I totally forgot about this. I thought, in order to make the fairy ring, you needed to get level 90 construction. So I thought, I had to get up to level 85, and then get a plus 5 boost. Turns out, you only need level 85. So I'm gonna drink this tea, to boost me up to 85. And now, I dare say I'm more excited about this than anything else. Fairy ring in your POH is such a huge time save. I do have no idea, this, the quality of life is just booming. Well, all those POH gains are going to be really, really nice moving forward, but back to some group content. The farmers are off to Armadil. We did Armadil a couple of episodes ago, and we did get an Armadil chest plate nice and early on, so we figured let's head back and see if we can get some more drops. I'll be set on KC. Uh, Jordan, do you have an Arma item for KC? Not at the moment, no. I was just thinking about that. I'm sorry, I'm eating. <laughs> I'll get you my coif in the storage. There you go. It works. Thank you! I've got the grapple on. Feels like kind of a waste, because I'm not even bringing a rune pouch, because we don't use thralls and blood spells would be useless, because only the mages left over after Kree dies. Yeah, Kree is a weird one. Definitely, I uh, don't need unnecessary runes. What? Okay, do you, all, do you all see this? I am hitting this this monster, and I'm getting XP drops, but he has no health bar. What the fuck was that? I got a D boots and a hard clue in the same kill. Now, I hate to let 210k disappear from the floor, but I think I'm going to. I'm just going to take the hard clue, I guess. I definitely oh, so, changed. Uh, the so, those wrath runes this morning, Curtis, they're actually insane. So, what was that used for? Is that for the uh, demonic the offering? Yeah. Oh, the alpha so, using. Mm. So, you know those 170 Cerberus kills I did? I banked all of the infernal ashes from them. Yeah. So each serve kill is worth 330 prey XP. Holy crap. It's uh, it's actually pretty nuts. So whenever we get on that big serb grind, it's worth banking all of the ashes from it. Because, I mean, 330k, you know, prey XP from 1,000 serb kills is pretty pretty decent. Yeah, because they're like the equivalent to effectively a better dragon bird. Yeah. And, pretty you know, decent. getting through 1,000, it's one wrath rune per three ashes. So it's really That's not that so bad. so good. Well. So I think one of the most important strats that we started to use at God Wars now is Potion Share. Potion Share is a spell on the Lunar Spellbook, and it is extremely useful. If you don't know what it is, basically, I, th I think somebody in my Twitch chat asked you to explain it, and I summed it up pretty well here, but it's making a massive difference on us having longer trips at Criara. How does Potion Share work? Basically, if Paul uses Potion Share on a Super Restore, with me following him, it's going to consume one dose of Super Restore, just like it normally would, but it's going to give Super Restore to both of us. So it legit just gives you like a free dose of potion. Hey. Oh. hey. Not what we need, but we'll take it. Almost another blade. So close. Still the shard I need on my main hardcore. <laughs> <laughs> Every time. Yeah, lit literally just edited a, edited a clip for a video last night of you saying that exact sentence. <laughs> it could, uh, we could get one the next kill and Meridi will still go, hmm, 
I need that one on my main hardcore. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna restore us and range spot us on this kill, Jordo. Sounds good. Jordo, I'm this guy over here. I'm the one that walks around in circles. What in the what, what, what am I doing? <laughs> I was editing my today he, command and I'm like, wait a minute. The heroes in his defense. That's the wrong dad. Definitely noticing some consistency as well with the foreign tasks because we are dropping it before the uh, man even dies sometimes. Yeah, this is nice right now. Like I said last time, the advantage of this group method is that. If the, one of the minions is on like one HP, instead of just that one killing blow off a of soloer, everybody gets to throw a chin on one HP and hit Arma four more yes, times. Yes, yeah. I noticed that when I did that um, solo kill on the last trip. So much nicer before. Oh, yeah, anyway, I was, I was just saying, Robin's parents have a couple of ferrets. And they have this really so I had tall a buddy and close. IRL back in the day go from, I think it was, whatever the requirement is, 61, is it for a dark bow? Up to 82 ranged from nothing but Varrock wieldy multi spec rushes. Holy. Jeez. Like That's crazy. 2 million XP from nothing but that. That's some dedication, man. It's not even a good I story. Mean, that's just chat. what we did back in the day. That was like, that was a day's work. It's six just, days in Varrock multi. It's just six uh, hours nothing was quite like. They let the ferrets out and they Varrock hop multi. And it's cute. With a, you They're know, horrible. two or three homies off to the side. You bait the PK and then they all run in and, and file jump. Oh. Amazing. I miss those days, man. The real personality test, though, is how long would you wait to go with the boys? What mage level? Water strike or earth strike? Oh, I would start with water. Every time. I every think I'd time. usually start with water as well. But I think I did range more often than mage. The only experience that I can recall PKing in Varrock East was, uh, I was, I was a youngin. And I think I went out there with, like, an Addy skim. An Addy Kite Shield and an Addy Plate Body. And I think at the time, I didn't understand the concept of what Sculling was. So I totally yeah, lost up. my stuff, and I was so sad. Oh, no. I was so sad. You were the kind of guy everyone wanted to see. Yeah. <laughs> I was free loot. My, Did my anyone first else? ever huge PK was at the, like, near where the Black Salamanders are now, but this was before Hunter came out. Uh -huh. I was I was like PKing myself in admittedly shitty stats and gear, and I came across some other guy who was like walking down from that area in full rune, and I somehow managed to kill him, and frantically looted all of his stuff and teleported away. Then called my brother into the room, and he's like, "Did you go in the wilderness with full rune?" Or like, I just PK'd full rune, and he said, "Did you bring two hundred k in with you?" I'm like, "No, why?" And then in my inventory, the dude brought his cash stack as well. Oh, my. 450k PK in 2004. Bank. What I recall doing a lot of back in... Oh, man. I don't know what year it would have been. Sometime pre-EOC, but uh, 76k tricking when there was uh, loot potential <laughs> in the wilderness. Mm -hmm. That was interesting. I can't believe that that didn't get patched for as long as it didn't. Because it was just such a good moneymaker. What we used to do... This is like 2005, 2006. My brother and I... We used to uh, lose aggro at the Chaos Druids in Edge Dungeon and PK there with just God Spells, like Entangle TB God Spells. Because, it, so it, there were like four people per world on every single world there, right? And none of them, maybe maybe 5% of them would bring food, like any sort of food. Everyone else would bring nothing. But they would bring full armor and sometimes rares. So they'd bring like pea hats, they'd bring Santa hats, they'd bring masks. It was crazy what you would see down there. God armor left and right. Everyone's just trying to flex. And we, we literally made so much money. Like a stupid amount of money just became down there. Well, it helps that everyone was like 46 HP as well. <laughs> they didn't stand exactly. much chance. Yeah. Like most hits, it was like two, three hitting people. It was insane. I miss those days, man. Simpler times. Did anyone fan? ever only train their mage at Fist of Gothics back in the day? To like fist oh, them. so oh, no. much fun. Loved that. Menu. I never understood Fist of Guthics. That was a little after my time. But I am of the opinion that even better than Fist of Guthics was Stealing Creation. That was so that fun. That was the best one. Yeah, yeah. That pushed me to 99 conscious because of the hammers used to get. Double XP was like huge. Yeah. Sacred Clay in old... Or the... Uh, that mini game in old school would be cool. But I think they would have to change how Sacred Clay works. Because like for Iron Men, that would be so oh, yeah. busted. It would definitely creep into the meta somewhere. Yeah. Although these days, like people would just boost it to find the you know the best way to get points for everyone. That's true. Like mini games wars, these days. Yeah. Did you guys ever do clan wars? Like actual like clans battling? Yeah, I was in like the number two warring clan of like two thousand nine. 
I didn't do any actual clan stuff, but I did waste a ton of time in the free-for-all portal fighting people. Yeah, same. Which one was that, Rudy? Uh, Forgotten Gods, I believe, was the name. And we were pretty firmly number two, because number one was much better than everybody else. It, it was kind of cool, because, like, I, I didn't find out that Bonesaw Banff was the leader of Foe until, I, like, until, like, until we were both streamers, and I met him through streaming. And he was actually my clan leader when I was in Foe way back in the day. Paul, you you speaking of Bonesaw, I remember I've only been to one TwitchCon ever. Um, and of course, you, you were there as well, Paul. Um, yeah. I remember at that one, there was kind of a, the general gathering of RuneScape people was inside of a bar area. So you had to be 21 Always. to get in. And I remember early in the day, there was no security guards. They didn't care. You know, whoever could go in. Oh, uh, I remember this one. Okay, yeah, I was not 21 at the time. I think I was either 19 or 20. We brought you through the metal gate. Well, yeah, and then later in the day, later in the day, what happens is the security guards start showing up, and they're not letting you do that. And so I can't get in and hang out with everybody because I don't have a, an ID that says I'm 21. So what happens is, is Bonesaw... Now, I would recommend you all Google a picture of Bonesaw if you don't no, know what he looks like. he didn't give you his ID. <laughs> he did. He gave Bonesaw no gave way. me his ID for reference. Bonesaw is Asian, just to paint you a picture. And the the, the security guard looks at the ID, looks at me, says, "Go ahead." <laughs> that dude did not care That's about his job dude. at all. Guys got balls to show me this ID. Go on ahead. <laughs> yeah, he did not care. <laughs> this dude says, "I remember that TwitchCon. I went up to Paul and told him I was a big fan, and then asked him to take a picture of me and Mammal." <laughs> Wait, did that happen? I guess so. I, I vaguely remember this. That sounds hilarious. I don't remember that, though. Ouch. See that? I remember you. Your hero doesn't even remember you. I know. Arrogant streamer over here. <laughs> oh, I do. Geez. It's a very funny story. But um, I've told this one sure. billion times. Um, I used to play RuneScape only facing north and with the screen, oh. like, flat. So imagine <laughs> that now, if you put it on the Armador Wall, right? You can only see blackness when you enter a dungeon. Oh, no. So I went down Drain or Sewers, and I couldn't see anything. And I was low level, so the skeletons attacked me and KO'd me. Because I couldn't find the ladder to get back up. Um, <laughs> yeah, it was only after years. then... Yeah, it was only after then I found it. you could actually turn with the arrow keys, and it just changed everything for me. <laughs> but that's when I got addicted. <laughs> that's such a good story. My older brother gave me all kinds of like steel armor, like a steel like med helm and kite shield. He gave me a steel battle axe. And uh, this is RuneScape Classic. And I was in the Varoxiverse training melee. And I, I was sub-15 combat. I died to a level 13 rat. Oh, Couldn't find my way back in time to, uh, to get my gear back. Lost a lot of stuff. Sad times. That kind of reminds me of when I... I didn't die, but I remember when I first got membership, I had an older brother and his friends used to play, and that's how I got into RuneScape, and eventually, after playing for like a year, I begged my mom for long enough that she was like, fine, yeah, you can have membership, and I remember my brother's friend met up with me, and at the time, Team Capes were still members only, so he gave me one of those, because Team Capes looks sweet, and then he gave me a Tyrus Helm, I was so proud of it, because it looked cool, and then my brother was like showing me around the members world, and he, I remember I was north of Yanil a little bit, you know, where like all the mining rocks are. He dropped me off there, and then my mom was like, oh, you got to get out of here, do your homework. So he had to leave me alone. And I was petrified that I was going to die and lose my Tyrus Helm because I didn't know where I was. I'm just stood north of Yanil, and I don't want to lose my Tyrus Helm. I was panicking. Fewer words were better to hear back then than go get my credit card. Oh, yes. You knew you were because you knew you were getting RuneScape members. Well, no. As soon as my my tell was always as soon as my mom would ask me a question in retaliation about what it is that I wanted, it was done. Mm. <laughs> mm. Like to clarify what I meant, I knew I was already in the door. Oh yeah. She's popular in the UK. It. Was the uh, was the cards used to go down the game store and get those oh, five yeah. pound a piece. That's how I got mine back in the day. I never did this, but I was told you could pay by phone, too. You could just call Jagex and pay for membership yeah, yeah. that way. Yeah, people would, like, call Jagex from their, food, their, their like, school office and <laughs> have their school pay for their membership. <laughs> so, unfortunately, drops-wise, all we got was that God Sword Shard, too, from the minion. But, you know, as lucky as we got on that Armadale chestplate, 
I reckon we can't complain about being dry for uh, quite a while, so... Not the most fruitful armadillo trip drops wise, but there was a lot of fun conversations and that is what it's all about. And on that note, I'm going to go ahead and call it a video. Thank you all very much for watching. Uh, just a heads up, this may be the last Farmers video for a little bit. Uh, of course, I still have tons and tons more videos to make about the Farmers. But, as you know, the Shattered Relics League is going to be releasing very soon. And I will be playing that and most likely making videos about it as well. So I would assume these will be on at least a brief hiatus during leagues. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, feel free to leave a like. And I will see you all soon.